It's a ritual that's become way too common for the Magnocci family. We're trying to get everything ready. If the water does come in here, is get everything up that we can get up, machinery, stuff like that, get it out of the way. The family has been running a dairy in the Carnation area for decades. Flooding has always been a concern, but after the floods in 2009, things seem to be getting worse. When they're talking flood, you're going, oh God, how bad, you know. They've moved the hay off the ground and can haul it away if the water comes, but moving all these cows won't be so easy. Everybody sits and hopes and prays that we don't get water, but I mean, if you do, you just kind of have to deal with it as it goes and hope it's not that bad. Water has already forced King County to close several roads around Carnation. Today, some were trying to get out before they're trapped by water. Tonight, the Army Corps of Engineers is keeping an eye on rivers all over western Washington. They've also got spotters watching levees and other flood control measures. They say it's difficult to pinpoint just which communities will get the brunt of the storm. Could be widespread, but the, it, it isn't a huge lingering storm. It's sort of back to back, and then we're expecting, we hope, the snow level to drop down again, which will help us out. At the Two Sisters Dairy, they'll take all the help they can get. They're the last dairy in this valley, and 26-year-old Lena would like to be the fourth generation to run the family business. But she's not sure how long she can keep going through this pre-flood routine. I'm not that old, but I, when I was little, like, it never flooded here. So hopefully we can figure out something so it's not quite as bad.